Hi everyone, we are team Capybaras and we are here at Warsaw Summer School uh, organized by the Polytechnica Warsaw. So we are here uh, for students against climate change, making sure to take action for a planet. Okay, so we are currently standing here with famous scientist Marie Curie and, and we are all future scientists from all parts of Europe and uh, we are also thinking and impacting the climate by finding a solution towards a sustainable and a better world. We came to talking about Marie Curie and her various inventions and researches and as a group we discussed what aspect we can look on if not directly but indirectly in terms of climate change and I think we found a solution or at least a way towards it. Okay, so while being here in Warsaw, we have not only been working with climate change action, but we have also been socializing and getting to know students from all over Europe. During the first uh, couple of days, we had a lot of team building exercises. During which we came close as a group and finally understood each and every one of our strengths and weaknesses so that we can work together towards a final solution. Even though all the students are from the universities included in the Enhanced program, there are also a lot of other nationalities represented. Just like, where are you from, Ritwik? Uh, I would say I'm from Earth, but yeah, I'm from India. India. Hi, we are the Capybara team, and during this week, we came up with a solution for reducing the carbon footprint of uh, clothing industries. Okay, as a solution, we developed an app focusing on motivating people to choose sustainable and minimalistic lifestyle. This app will uh, work uh, as a multi uh, tool to access information about how to reuse, recycling, and reduce clothing footprint. So as a group, we made a rough prototype of this app and plotted down every important aspect that we felt must be included in this app. However, it should also be not similar to the pre-existing ones. For example, we added a marketplace, a recycling map, a repair guide and a lifestyle guide which is somewhat like an Instagram feed. In general, I think that this app has a great background. Uh, it's very well thought through. Uh, it has many great utilities uh, that will be used uh, once it's made uh, and published. Just needs very fine tuning, a little of fine tuning in order to maximize what we want to share with people, what we want to teach them and how. Uh, after that I think it's just a straightforward way to success and spread the gospel of how to be eco to the world, especially to the newer generations. What time is it? Oh, it's 2.30. 2.30? Yeah. By the way, nice shirt. Thanks, man. Yeah. You know, Where'd it's you get like, it? I got it from an online platform, actually. Really? It's like a sustainable way of, you know, do you know thrift stores? No, no. I've heard it's like it. a second, second-hand clothes. Oh, but, uh, it's all green, right? It's all green, exactly. So, oh. I'll show you the app. So, we came up with this app. It's, So, okay, it's, it's like a marketplace that you can sell, buy, or donate clothes that you want. Really? Yeah, exactly. And cool. I'll show you yeah. some more features of it. Yeah. You have like your own lifestyle guide. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you want to repair your own clothes. Is you can... it available on Google Play? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Apple Store as well. Thank you, Apple. Yeah, check that out. Yeah, man. Spread the word. Okay. Sustainable cool. is sustainable is Awesome. Where are you flying off to? China. China. So I think we found a solution to climate change and the teamwork from the Capybara team is finally finished. So you know, time to head home.
Bye-bye.